What's up champions? Welcome to another video. So in this video, I want to show you the most common mistake during dips. So there are several mistakes you can make, but there's basically two types of dips I've seen lately. And usually the third type is kind of the mixture between the two. So first we have the, the usual dip. So basically the normal dip where you just go down, maintaining depression, you go as deep as your mobility allows you to. So you don't go, well, everybody needs to go all the way down to here. If your shoulder extension is a bit shitty, so if you're going up to here, oh, and you're already feeling like a stretch, and then you're gonna go deeper with weight, it's, uh, yeah, you're gonna probably injure your shoulder. So really make sure to go as deep as you feel comfortable, basically. And also make sure to, on a given day, do some work for shoulder extension, because if you're very tight here, then uh, you're gonna be very limited in doing dips, and also later on, doing something like the ring muscle up where you absolutely need good shoulder extension. So the first type of a dip is kind of the normal dip. And then there's the second type, which is the shitty type. And that's kind of been known as the hollow body dip. But what's basically, it's not even a hollow body dip. I could be doing dips in protraction. It would look like this. So a lot of protraction is like this going neutral somewhere here. So both are actually okay. But what, it's known as a hollow body dip. It's basically from here going like this and then going back here. So it's basically you're bending here at the hips and the hips are usually on the same line. And you often see this done with a whole lot of weight. So when you see somebody doing 130 plus kg weighted dips, it's usually how it looks like. Not always, but yeah, basically 90%. So really make sure not to do that because basically what happens here is just you're bending at the hip. So the tricep is going to do a little bit of work and your serratus because you're maintaining some protraction. But this basically is no work for the chest, no work for the, for the deltoid because there's no stretch happening. Because you're right here and the shoulder stays in the same position. You're not going into that shoulder extension. So basically let me show you how that realistically looks like. So normal dip I'll perform like this. So whether it's up to here or it's all the way down and th then you have the hollow body dip which is basically from here boom and it basically feels like that second variation the hollow body dip feels like you're not doing shit and it's a completely useless variation so don't get caught up into doing that but actually go through the range of motion because here your hips are on the same line so the you see the guys pumping and the weight is not even moving up and down there's no range of motion whatsoever so from here actually go down go into the shoulder extension let the anterior deltoid stretch let the pec stretch and you're actually gonna get some benefits whether it's hypertrophy or it's strength but make sure to do proper this so once more the shit variation from here leaning forward Keeping the hips on the same line. You can lift here if your my one rep max is like what 90, 100 kgs. With this shit, goes 30 kgs up. So it's wonderful if you can cheat like this on a competition, but don't cheat yourself at home and actually do proper form. So shit and good stuff where you're actually going through some range of motion. Boom. Make sure to maintain that depression. I always say that. Make sure to subscribe as well if you like my videos. There's definitely a lot more coming. And also make sure to comment below in the comment section what would you like to see in the next video. Because honestly, I'm running out of ideas because I've made so many videos about calisthenics and this has been my obsession the past 10 years. So please guys, write down in the comment section below what you want to see in the next video. And also, make sure you do your dips correctly. Whether you're doing them on the rings or on the bars or whether you're doing it on a single bar, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you actually go through that range of motion and make sure you also take care of your shoulder extension to prevent injuries and maintain that mobility. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you want some help with achieving the advanced elements or transform your body, make sure not hesitate and click the link right here in the video description and check out some of my tutorials. Amazing stuff if you want to develop strength and good looking strong, capable body. So make sure to click that link and I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for your time. Remember, you're a champion. Boom.